doctor reveals the most shocking news about strange hole in girl's head. The first dawn of light filtered through the curtains of the Griffin household, casting a soft glow over the peaceful scene. In the quiet of the early morning, Jessica Griffin was the first to stir, her maternal instincts already tuned to the day ahead. But nothing could have prepared her for the unfolding events. In the next room, young Kaylin, only five years old, greeted the day with the enthusiasm typical of her age. However, as she swung her small feet over the edge of her bed, her world suddenly tilted. The floor, once a solid foundation, seemed to betray her as she crumpled to the ground. Jessica, hearing the thud, rushed to her daughter's room. Her heart pounded in her chest, a crescendo of fear as she took in the scene. Kaylin, her face etched with confusion and fear, struggling to stand but collapsing each time. The child's efforts were met with the cruel reality of her body's refusal to cooperate. As Jessica knelt beside her daughter, a million thoughts raced through her mind. Just last night, Kaylin had been her usual vibrant self, cheering and playing at a t-ball game. Could it be exhaustion, a sudden illness? Her mother's heart ached as she heard Kaylin's attempts to speak her words slurred and barely audible. With a gentle touch, Jessica examined Kaylin, her eyes scanning for any signs of injury. It was then she saw it, a small, sinister intruder amidst the tangles of Caitlin's hair. A tick, engorged with her daughter's blood, clung stubbornly to her scalp. The realization hit Jessica like a wave. All the strange symptoms, the sudden collapse, it was the work of this tiny creature. With a steadiness born of a mother's resolve, she carefully removed the tick, placing it in a plastic bag as evidence of the silent threat that had invaded their home. Time seemed to warp as Jessica, carrying Kaylin in her arms, raced to the hospital. The early morning streets were deserted, the world oblivious to the drama unfolding within the Griffin family. Kaylin, her little body limp and unresponsive, lay in her mother's arms, a stark contrast to the lively child she was just a day before. At the hospital, the doors swung open to a rush of sterile air and the immediate attention of medical professionals. Words like tick paralysis echoed through the corridors, a term unfamiliar yet terrifying to Jessica. Her mind reeled with questions. How had this happened? How could a creature so small wreak such havoc? As doctors swarmed around Kaylin, administering tests and offering reassurances, Jessica stood by, a pillar of strength outwardly but inwardly crumbling with worry and fear. The waiting was agonizing, each minute stretching into eternity. In those moments of uncertainty, Jessica's world narrowed to the hospital room where her daughter lay fighting an invisible enemy. It was a battle they hadn't anticipated, a reminder of nature's unpredictable power. But amidst the fear, Jessica's love for Kaylin burned fiercely, a beacon of hope in the daunting face of the unknown. In the sterile white corridors of the hospital, the urgency was palpable. Jessica, clutching Kaylin's hand, navigated through the maze of bustling medical staff and anxious faces. The smell of antiseptic hung heavy in the air, a stark contrast to the comforting familiarity of their home. Kaylin, once a whirlwind of energy, now lay listless in her mother's arms. Her eyes, clouded with confusion and fear, searched Jessica's face for reassurance. The rush to the hospital had been a blur, a chaotic whirl of fear and urgency. Now, in the harsh fluorescent light of the examination room, reality set in with a chilling clarity. Doctors and nurses moved around Kaylin with practice efficiency, their faces masks of professional concern. Each test, each probe, seemed to Jessica an invasion, a necessary yet painful intrusion. Machines beeped and whirred, charting the unseen battle raging in Kaylin's small body. Jessica's heart ached as she watched, feeling helpless, her hand gripping her daughter's with silent promise of protection. As the doctors conferred, speaking in hushed, urgent tones, Jessica's mind raced back to the previous day. Images flashed before her eyes. The laughter at the t-ball game, Kaylin running through the grass, her hair flying in the wind. Where had the danger lurked in those innocent moments? Was it in the tall grass, in the shade of the trees where Kaylin had played? The guilt gnawed at her. Had she missed a crucial moment, a chance to prevent this? The diagnosis came like a thunderclap. 
tick paralysis. The words were foreign to Jessica, their implications terrifying. She listened, numb, as the doctors explained the condition, how the tiny tick had injected its venom, bringing her vibrant daughter to its fragile state. In the hours that followed, time stretched and compressed in a surreal rhythm. Kaylin lay in the hospital bed, a tangle of wires monitoring her every breath. Jessica sat beside her, each tick of the clock a reminder of the uncertainty that hovered over them. The hospital room, with its muted colors and soft murmurs, became their world. Nurses came and went, offering words of comfort, their faces etched with empathy. Jessica held on to those words, a lifeline in the sea of medical jargon and grim possibilities. As night fell, the hospital settled into a hushed calm. Jessica, exhausted yet vigilant, watched over Kalen. In the dim light, she whispered stories, fairy tales where brave heroes triumphed over evil, her voice a soothing balm in the sterile room. Outside, the world moved on, oblivious to the small family anchored in their fight against an unseen enemy. In the hushed confines of the hospital room, time seemed to stand still. Kalen, once bound by the invisible chains of paralysis, now showed signs of breaking free. Each small movement, a twitch of a finger, a flutter of an eyelid was a victory, a rebellion against the tiny creature that had brought her in this state. Jessica, ever present at her daughter's bedside, watched each of these moments with a blend of awe and anxiety. The hospital staff, a team of unsung heroes, moved around Kalen with a gentleness that belied their clinical efficiency. Their words of encouragement were like lifelines, pulling Jessica back from the edge of despair. Each day brought with it a new improvement, a testament to Kalen's resilience and the tireless efforts of those who cared for her. Then came the moment that Jessica had been holding her breath for, Kalen's first attempt to stand. With the support of a nurse, Kalen, her legs wobbly and uncertain, stood up. It was a moment suspended in time, a heart-stopping blend of fear and hope. Jessica's eyes brimmed with tears as she watched her daughter reclaim her strength step by shaky step. Back at home, the Griffin household had transformed. It was no longer just a home. It had become a sanctuary, a safe haven from the lurking dangers of the outside world. The family pet, a loyal golden retriever, seemed to sense the change, staying close to Kalen, a silent guardian in her journey to recovery. The incident had left its mark on Jessica. She found herself constantly checking Kalen, her eyes scanning for any signs of danger. Her mind, once occupied with the routine concerns of parenting, now harbored a deep awareness of the threats that nature in its complexity could pose. This newfound knowledge became a catalyst for action. Jessica found herself reaching out to other parents, sharing her story, her voice a mixture of warning and wisdom. Social media posts, community talks, and casual conversations in the park all became platforms for her message. The tiny tick had not only changed Kaylin's life, but had reshaped Jessica's purpose. In the evenings, as the house settled into a peaceful rhythm, Jessica often found herself reflecting on the journey they had undertaken. There were moments of overwhelming gratitude for the medical staff who had guided them, for the support of friends and family, and for Kaylin's one wavering spirit. There were also moments of solemn contemplation, a realization of how fragile life could be, how a single, seemingly insignificant creature could upend their world. As Kaylin's laughter once again filled the house, a sound that for a terrifying moment Jessica feared she might never hear again, it was a reminder of the ordeal they had overcome. The Griffin household, once rocked by fear and uncertainty, now resonated with the sound of resilience, a testament to the enduring strength of the human spirit. The Griffin household, once a scene of anxious whispers and hushed tones, now buzzed with a renewed sense of life. Kalen, the center of this transformation, moved through the rooms with a tentative yet determined grace, each step a testament to her resilience. Her laughter, a melody long missed, now filled the corners of their home, weaving a tapestry of joy and relief. Jessica, who had once paced these floors with worry etched on her face, now stood with a different purpose. The ordeal had not only brought her daughter back from the brink, but had ignited a flame within her. 
she found herself driven by a mission, a need to turn their harrowing experience into a beacon of awareness for others. In their small community, where everyone knew each other by name, Jessica's efforts to spread awareness about tick paralysis found fertile ground. Neighbors gathered in living rooms and backyards, hanging on to her every word as she recounted their story. Her voice, steady and clear, carried not just information, but a message of vigilance and hope. Social media, once a platform for sharing mundane daily happenings, became Jessica's megaphone. Her posts, candid and heartfelt, resonated with parents far and wide. Photos of Kaylin, once hooked to machines in a hospital bed and now beaming with health, served as a powerful visuals to her narrative. Messages of support and gratitude flooded in, each one strengthening Jessica's resolve. The Griffin family, through their ordeal, became a unifying force in their community. Kaylin, with her innocent questions and newfound curiosity about the natural world, reminded adults of the importance of nurturing and protecting. Neighbors who had once been mere acquaintances now checked in regularly, offering support and sharing their own stories of cautious adventures outdoors. As the seasons changed, bringing with them the blooming of flowers and the buzzing of life, the Griffins found themselves more connected, not just to each other, but to the world around them. Their home, once a sanctuary from a threat, now stood as a symbol of awareness and unity. The journey from fear to understanding, from isolation to community engagement, culminated in a local gathering. Here, Jessica spoke not just as a mother who had faced down a hidden danger, but as a member of a community that had come together in the face of adversity. The applause that followed her words was not just for her, but for the collective strength they all shared. In the Griffin household, as Kaylin played with her siblings and the family pet dozed in the warm afternoon sun, there was a palpable sense of peace. It was a peace born of trials and triumphs, a reminder that even in the smallest of creatures, there's a lesson to be learned and stories to be told. The family, once rocked by an unseen threat, now stood together, stronger and more connected, their experience a guiding light for others navigating the complexities of the natural world.